Peshus Moron of Rabbonan Chosh of Menal Guests of Honor Their Families The Chol and Esof and Khan The Pasuk and Eiv Says in Yeshul of Malach Melitz Echod Mini Olaf The Hagid La Adam Yashrei We heard it said many times tonight it's the theme of the evening that even one malach one in a thousand can be mezaka a person the Ebn Ezra explains that this one malach knows the special schus that will win over to be mezaka this person he knows the heavenly secrets the Rosh Hashiva, Rebaran, Zechazadak Levrocha, writes in Mishnah Srebaran when talking about the significance of elementary school learning. This has nothing to do with the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. This has nothing to do with the mitzvah of condition. Only elementary school children, our Talmidim, Talmidim She'ein Bohem Chait, can sustain the world. Without that, it is not Shaykh to have a Kiyam. Tonight's honorees are also Echad Mini Olaf. In some ways, literally. They are literally the one in a thousand that said yes to be honored here tonight. But they also understand, as that Malach does, the importance of Chizuk of Tinoikis Shabbis Rabbin. Rabbi Yeshua and his family are really family. Personally, our Mishpacha spans several generations, and they have been part of our yeshiva for 14 years, Kanainara. Always involved and dedicated. The last place they want to be is sitting up here tonight. But their dedication won out over the natural tendencies of Atzne Alechas. Yasha Kaychachem. Rabbi Yitzchok, Umishpachtoi. One just has to mention the Bertram name, and you don't only think about food. What comes to mind is how the Bertram Mishpacha turned the food business into a chesed business. And I know how many mishpachas, how many moistas or nene from what they do. Rabbi Yitzchak carries that mesaira along with his wife to perfection. They shall have continued nachas from the mishpacha. <laughs> the foyers, I can't say enough, so I won't. Besides his yichas atzmai, Every time I see or speak to Avram David, I'm reminded of his shver zechazadik l'vracha, my Rebbe. With all that you do for us and for Kla Yisrael, with your beautiful mishpacha, you are doing for him. Continued simchas and achas. <laughs> the Kesser Shem Tov Award could not have been more aptly presented. Parents in the yeshiva for just over two years the Goldbrenners have earned that title that preceded them to our yeshiva. Ask anyone that knows them, you will hear that. Your parents, your in-laws, and all of us should have continued nachas from you, and a special shout out to our principal, your brother-in-law, Rab Chesky. <laughs> we should all continue to have a nachas and a together. Mesoira. Today, Mesoira Today, Mesoira is a buzzword. In some families, though, it's a way of life. Anyone that knows Rav Shneir Yaakov, yes, for all those out there, that's his name, Rav Shneir Yaakov, and his wife, know that their very, every activity is based and rooted in their illustrious Mesoires.
and true to their constant smiles, open door and open hearts, they are passing on that Messira to not only their children, but to their entire family of friends and neighbors. Ashreichem Shazachisa. Just recently, Rav Shneir Yaakov, together with his fellow yeshiva parents, Rabavi Motashin and Rav Moshe Atlas, <laughs> ensured that every Rebbe is enrolled in the Araven program. To thank our chairman, I don't know what to say, but I'll just ask one question. Has anyone ever heard someone so eloquent like Rav Shmuel? <laughs> Who better to give over to Dvar Hashem than someone that epitomizes a Dvar Hashem? And of course, Rav Yitzi, who never stopped, and he continues to work on behalf of doing everything he can for the yeshiva, whenever and wherever possible. Thank you very much. As you know, the yeshiva's budget is tremendous, much larger than tuition covers. Baruch Hashem, we have very dedicated partners in all of you who help and do more than you could do. But this year, we stumbled into a near crisis. I must mention by name four parents who stepped forward and are working on a plan to secure our future. Rav Meir Birnbaum, <laughs> Rav Yechiel Shron, <laughs> Rav Mordechai Sternstein, <laughs> and Rav Moishe Tress. On behalf of every Rebbe, teacher, and Talmud in the yeshiva, I say thank you. <laughs> this year also, we had something new in the yeshiva. We have a kitchen, a working kitchen. And I want to just mention the dedication of the kitchen by Rabbi Yitzhi Muller and his family. Everybody knows that the food is the nefesh of a person, and every Talmud eats better and learns better, along with our in-house chef, Rapin Chazel. <laughs> who goes out of his way each and every day to make sure everybody is happy and eating well. Thank you. This year, I want to mention two people who are no longer with the Archas Chaim family. Every year, for as long as I could remember, our dinner was graced with the presence of a grandparent and a community rov, Rav Shloim and Gezuchayin Levracha. This year, he's not here. At the same time, I would like to also mention one of our large beneficiaries, Rav Meir Thurm, the, the father-in-law of Rav Shem Shisharer, and the, the great-grandfather of many, many Talmidim from the Mishpacha. He gave of himself to always give for the yeshiva. He gave money to start the building of our new building, which didn't happen yet. Mitz Hashem, in his chus, we will get it done. Yehi Zichram Baruch. Tonight in this room, as we heard from the previous speakers, we have the Echad Minei Aleph of Kla Yisrael, those dedicated to Kiyam HaOilam, as we heard. And Moskov Shvach Vaidah to Rabbanu for having the best parent body in the world. Each and every year you come out and do more and more for the yeshiva. And yes, it is because of all of you that this dinner campaign has been a success. To our Anhala and Rabbeim, Ashrei Chelkechem, you are dedicated to make sure that every Yochid, every Talmud, is as successful as he can be. Under the leadership 
of our esteemed mentals of Design Gesund, Rabbi Shulman. And all his skanim, the staff, the staff, whether in an office or the myriads of specialties and support services, are not just there to do a job. They are being mekayim and oilamale, one talmud at a time. Never, never is there a why me. We're just pure mesiras nefesh l'kadosh shem shemayim for each talmud in or out of the yeshiva. And of course, our secular principals, who I will mention by name, Rabbi Meyer, <laughs> Rabbi Somech, <laughs> and Mrs. Deutsch, <laughs> who show that a full day of caring, productive learning is the only way to produce true B'nai Torah. Nothing would be possible tonight or on a daily basis in the yeshiva if not for the leadership and the role of Rebellio Stern. <laughs> and his wonderful staff of David Kronglass, <laughs> Rabbi Cheskel Kanarek, <laughs> and Rabbi Shmuley Greenwald. <laughs> and I understand that I'm still allowed to mention Rabbi Shlomo Mansbach. Although he's leaving the yeshiva shortly for another position, he promised us that he's never ever really leaving us. We live in a time with noticeable actions against Frum Yidin. Many question why, many cry out in protest, many blame the Goyim. But possibly, our theme tonight is really the answer, the real answer. In today's parsha, the pasuk says, "Vayakom el achadosh hamitzrayim, eshalayodas Yosef." How is it possible? Yosef at Tzadik, who took the Mitzrayim and Mitzrayim through the Shnei Rov, they loved him. He made the king of of of, of Mitzrayim Parai the richest king in those times. He owned the entire land, he owned everything. How is it possible? Asher layoda as Yosef. The Nitziv says that you have to look at the previous Pasuk. Uvenei Yisrael paru vayishritzu vayirbu vayatsum b'moid moid vatimolei ha'oretz oisom Like my Rebbe, the Rosh Hashiv is a Chorin Levracha, said many, many times, they abandoned the rule of Yaakov Avinu and as Yosef at Tzadik of how to live in Golis. But they became Vatimolei Ha'aretz Yisom. They mixed with the Mitzrayim. So what happened? Like the Pasuk in Tilim says, Hofach Libam Lisna Yamoi. The Rebbeinu Shleilam turned the hearts of the Mitzrayim against Klal Yisrael. Even though Yosef was beloved, he was the ruler of Mitzrayim. The Rabbani Shalom turned their hearts against Klai Yisrael, not because of the Mitzrim, but because of Klai Yisrael. And it all came from the Rabbani Shalom. Chazal compared Klai Yisrael in Golis to a se'echad ben shivim ze'evim, a lone lamb among 70 wolves. Obviously, the marshal of a lamb with wolves probably means to tell us that when the lamb walked around in the forest, he tried to be as unnoticeable as possible. I'm sure I could comfortably say that he didn't have bumper stickers or magnets on him. That was not his way of survival in Golis among Shivim Zaevim. We unfortunately don't understand that. Throughout our history, we are reminded of the meaning of Kol Kol Yaakov Vayadayim Yidei 
that when the Kol Yaakov is prevalent, the Yedei Esav have no power. But when Chas V'Sholem Fakert, the Yedei Esav will win. Chazal never ever blame the Goyim. Whenever tragedy befalls Klai Yisrael, it is always something for us to learn from and for us to be better on. The Churban Bayis Rishon Shalei Baruch HaBetayr Etchila. The Churban Bayis Rishon Ish Sinas Chinam. We just passed Hanukkah. We know that the the, 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 the Migdash was Metama because the Srash Lubavoida. It had nothing to do with the Goyim. When we are weak and lacking in our mitzvahs and our avoida, we lose it. To who? To the Yedei Esav. B'nai Torah, don't use the word anti-Semitism. That's a word for secular, the secular world. That's the world for people that don't understand Sadazach from the Rabbi Nishalem and his Torah. Anti-Semitism is a thing that it's nothing to do with me, it's them. And we know that anyone that has shaykhist Hashem v'tayrasai, we cannot say that word. We know that we have to improve and become better. But Baruch Hashem, the Rabbi Nishalim is good to us. He gives us an Eitzah. The Medrash by Kol Kol Yaakov says that the Umar Sa'ilam went to Bilam Arosha and they asked for an Eitzah. How could we beat Klal Yisrael? What do we do? Bilam told them, go to the Batek Nesius and Batek Midrashas. Go to where the children are learning. If the children are mitzavtim and mekailam, learning like little children learn, you will never beat them. Bilam, the Pasuk says, we say, Deya das elyain. He knew, was tutzach and himmel. He knew how the Rabbani Shalom works, like this. And he said that one thing that can save Kla Yisrael forever is the Torah of Tinoikis Shabbos Rabban. That's Pshat in Echad Mini Olaf, that Evan Ezra says, that Yen Amalach knew exactly was Tutzach, the Yedei Das Elyon. Let's recognize the Mala, the Maila, of being an Echad Mini Elif, that only through the learning and growth of Aratina Yitzchus Shabbos Ravan will we forever have the true, unpenetrable Shmira of Kol Kol Yaakov. Those children that tonight we are honoring, our real security guard. Let us resolve tonight to go the extra mile for every child. Give more support. And yes, give more money. Increase your efforts. And when you go home tonight, if your children are sleeping, don't wake them up. But go into their room and look at them and whisper, it's all because of you. You are so important to Hashem. You are the Kiyam Ha'ilam, the only protection for Klai Yisrael. And with that, we'll miss Shem Bizaicha to change the words Vatimali Ha'aretz Aysam to Umala Ha'aretz Deyas Hashem, Kamayam Hayom Echasim, Meherb Yamenu Amen. Speaking of the Messiah and what Rabbi Nishalom wants from us, we have a Gavaldigas Chus that one of the biggest Rabbanim in Marbit Seitaira that I know of recently relocated to Lakewood. And it's a covet for me personally to introduce Rabbi Strolzi Brody to address the island.